back up but I, I've only caught maybe four or five crappy all year this year. And usually that's my favorite fishing, crappy fishing. And it's getting kind of dark. I hope you guys can still see all that. that minnow there. Now that minnow is dead. He was floating around the bucket so I put him on in and tossed him out to see if anybody was interested in him. And I have maybe eight or ten live ones up, which I'll probably end up using a couple of them at the lake. If I don't get anything there I may see if somebody else is might want to use them. So it's two bass and one small catfish for today. Although I've only got one bass on film, but this is good. It's always good to catch a bass. Somebody put in the chicken river. Hopefully it's Mr. Catfish again. That's the way that other catfish does. He just nibbles, 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 which is unusual. A catfish will hit it and then he'll take it. And the reason why I was crappy fishing today is because I went out earlier with my dad and my sister, and that's when I caught the first bass. That's one of the reasons why I didn't have it on film. Tomorrow's his birthday, so happy birthday, Dad. I wish you many more years to come. So I went out crappy fishing with him, hoping that we'd catch some crappy to bring home and fry up because that is by far one of my favorite fish to eat. Thank you. Nibble at these wizards. I'm going to try to get close to that 
pretty young at hanging down. Whoa. It's real awkward trying to cast chicken livers so they don't come off, but with a circle hook and livers being half frozen, the cheese stay on pretty good. Now I've got some like a mesh material like cheese cloth or something to that effect, that type of material. I usually make chicken liver sacks, but I didn't today. Somebody is getting the minnow. Something bumped it. wasn't a turtle because a turtle usually tries to eat the head off of the memory for some reason. I'm not going to set that down. A little gentle tread. Somebody sent me a liver. Let's see what Mr. Cat is. I got him to float. Now look at that, I got one on both of them. Oh yeah, what I've been waiting for all day, all day long. I knew they were crappy in here. My first crappy of today, a fishing all day for them. And I caught him at one of my favorite fishing spots at the creek here where the spillway is running off of the city lake. Mr. Crappy. Off of a minute. Yeah, see him? I'm gonna release him because he's he's not too big as you can see here's my hand he's a little guy if he's a little bit bigger I would have took him somebody's playing with the livers 
I'm going to release this guy. Put on another minnow and maybe. Just maybe. May catch a bigger one. Same minnow, same dead minnow. He was floating on top of the bucket, so I threw him out there and caught a crappie. Caught him right there where you just see me toss it. I had somebody playing with the little snug. Had something on there. So that's one crappy, two bass and a catfish for today. See, I knew that was a fish in it because the turtle, like I said, you know, they usually try to bite the head off for some reason. I'm going to stop the camera and restart it. Or actually, I'm going to turn the camera off. Because I think I'm going to get ready to call it a day. Unless I start catching a lot of crappy. If I do happen to catch anything else, I'll turn the camera back on and show you guys. But just in case I don't. This is Jay saying thank all of you guys for watching. I hope I didn't bore you too long. I know I fished here quite a lot, which now I'm thinking I should have just fished here to start with today because I caught a crappie within 30 minutes that in a catfish out of this spot. Which the two bass I caught was good too, but Anyways, this is Jay saying thanks for watching and good luck fishing. If I happen to catch any more fish, I'll turn the camera back on to show you guys. And if I don't, adios for now.